Good morning, everyone. It's Marg from Creative Stamping with Marg. It is Tuesday, no, nope. yes, Tuesday, May 16th. Today we're going to be uh, focusing our attention on, whoops, this stamp set, Irresistible Blooms, which is an online only from Stampin' Up. Nice stamp set, and it also has dies that go with it that are very unique. I've you I will be using some of the dies today. This one is very beautiful. I am not using this one today, but I will show you the ones I am using when we get started. This card also is one that uses uh, up DSP, I guess, and you get to look at both sides of it. So this is the layout of the card. Sorry, I've got all my pieces here. <clears throat> we'll be cutting our card base five and a half by five and a half and score at four and a quarter. So basically, it's a regular card front, I guess, but we're going to cut off a piece. So if you cut your cardstock five and a half by five and a half, score at four and a quarter, this is what you'll get when you fold it. Okay. Then you're going to use a piece of DSP, which you like both sides of. And the DSP I'm using is the Irresistible Blooms. Uh, it's called Hello Irresistible. And it is uh, also online. Gorgeous paper. If you haven't seen it yet, it is all these colors. Uh, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock. Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Petal Pink, and Soft Sea Foam. So there's lots of colors, lots of patterns, beautiful paper. So I've chosen the Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock pieces today. So the piece that we're going to use, <coughs> excuse me, is this one. So it has Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock in it, and it reverses over to this side, which sort of looks like clouds, I think. So it's a good piece because I like both sides of it. So this piece is, uh, now it's not your standard four by five and a quarter, and it's not, it's, I cut this one four and three eighths by five and three eighths because it's going to fit in behind here to be the front of our card, but I want just a little bit of edge showing of the Pretty Peacock card behind it. So you can see how this is going to work. It's going to get glued right on to this piece, and that will be the inside of our card. So that's how that looks. Then I reversed the piece. I wanted the other side. So this piece is one and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just the other side of the piece that I'm using, and I'm going to put it here. And again, I just want a little bit showing of the pretty peacock. All right, and I've also got another strip that is oh, half an inch that was left over when I cut this six by six piece of paper. And so I'm going to use that on the inside somewhere. I have also I kind of thought I would like to have something peeking out behind this some kind of an edge. So I tried a few different things and what I ended up using was from the color and contour dies, the largest rectangle here, this one right here. Oops. I thought it has a nice scallop edge on it. it. Looks like this. I thought, I wonder if I could use that running down there. So what I did was I just cut an inch piece of white on the long side of this die. I just cut this like this. Okay, so it's just an inch strip. And then I thought I could insert it. Yes, you're not gonna see these ends, but it doesn't matter. I thought I could insert it behind here just to give me a bit of a decoration. I thought that looked really nice. So that's what I did with that. There is also this die in the color and contour dies, and it looks like this when you cut it out. But I thought it was just 
I don't know, too much or too big or, I don't know, I didn't like it as much. So I opted for this piece and I think this is going to work out just fine. So it's going to look like that when we glue it together. So it's just a very fine piece. So I think I'm happy with that. <clears throat> and I did stamp some, two of the flowers that come in this stamp set. I'll bring the stamp set back so you can see it. Two of the flowers, there's two sizes. So I did stamp them in uh, Lost Lagoon on basic white cardstock. And I also stamped the greeting, Hooray, It's Your Day, on white. And I used the Stylish Shapes dies. And I used this die to cut it out like that. Uh, again, you can just cut a rectangle if you want or cut around the words. I also used um, the dies that are in the set. It comes with <clears throat> three uh, open leaves. So I cut, I cut those out. There's three different ones. So I did cut those out. I actually cut six out, but we'll see how we're going to place those around. All right. So to put the card together, oh, and on the inside, I've got a piece. I use the color and contour dies again, and I cut a piece of basic white with uh, this second size. Sorry, the second scallops because I thought that kind of went with our theme on the front, and that's going to be my inside piece. So I've got all those pieces ready to go. Now let's put this card together. I will use my uh, silicone mat, because that helps with not getting glue everywhere. So the first thing first, I think we are going to... <coughs> Sorry, I need a drink this morning. Hmm. All right. We are going to put together the card. So, because we want this piece to just attach to this front flap, I'm just going to put the glue on the front flap. If I can get it to go this morning. Let's just see. Sometimes this glue, I have a pin that I keep right in my glue. And sometimes you need to do this. It gets blocked up. I don't know why. Well, I guess it just makes sense. It's glue. It just gets blocked up. There we go. So I'm just going to put enough glue on here. Oh, look at that. It got started and stopped again. There obviously is a, a plug of glue in there. But I just want to put enough glue on here to make sure that it sticks. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is just slide this right in, right where I want it, looking at the top and the bottom to make sure I've got a little bit of an edge and just press it down like that. Okay, there we go. There it is. All right, we can glue our inside in if we'd like. Oh, now I've made a mistake, haven't I? Because what I wanted to do was put that white piece in there first. That wasn't very good, was it? Let's see if I can get this glue. It is really sticky. I may not be able to get that in there now. Darn it. So what I might have to do is, I wonder if I can sneak it in here. Mm. Ah, it's not as effective, is it? Well, guess what? I guess we're not going to be using this piece after all. Okay, that was my mistake. I wasn't thinking about that at all. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this on here. This piece is the piece we want on our flap. Boy, I'm really having trouble with my glue today. It doesn't usually give me this much trouble. Hmm, it's really got something in there that's clogging up the works. Yeah, every time. Okay, well, we'll just leave that in there. All right, so I'm going to put this on top of here. And line it up again. You're just going to see about an eighth of an inch all the way around. There we go. OK. 
Okay. And then this is going to go in here. And I did tell you that I had a piece of this cut. And I just thought I might just put it down the side here and just lay this on top. What do you think of that? I think that looks okay. So I think I will just lay this piece down. And I'm choosing to use the kind of plaid side only because what you're seeing on the inside is the uh, cloud side. And this wasn't as long as the paper. It's just a little shorter. So I will just even it out as best I can like that. And then I'm going to put this in. And I um, was going to stamp happy birthday on it on the inside. I think I'll probably use it as a birthday card. It says, hooray, it's your day. doesn't really mean it's <clears throat> necessarily a birthday, but could be, I guess. I think I best get myself a new glue. This is really causing me nothing but problems today. Wow. Yep, it just is not... There definitely is something plugging this thing up. Well, maybe that's it right there. It finally went bloop. Nope, still not. Wow, this is something. All right. Okay, I think we got it. All right, and I'm just going to overlap the scallop onto here a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so there's our card put together. Now we're going to have to decide what to do with our flowers and our leaves that I've cut and our greeting. So I think just get some dimensionals here because I think our greeting will go on dimensionals. I also pulled out some ribbon. Now this is um, the open weave ribbon that we had, uh, Evening Evergreen, but I kind of thought it kind of looked okay on here. It's not as turquoise as these, but I thought it kind of blended in. So I didn't know if I wanted to use some ribbon on this or not, so we'll just play with it a little bit. I have taken my, I just took a pen and shaped my flowers a little bit. I roll them on the pen a little bit like this and then I roll them back again. And it just breaks the fibers of the paper down a little bit and allows this to have a little bit of maybe interest so it's not perfectly flat on our paper. I did the same with this one. Just rolled it a little bit over the pen and then I roll it back however I think I want it, like that. And I just thought I would put these on and put, I don't know if I want to put them over top of my, and put hooray, it's your day. I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna tuck in these leaves that I've cut. I don't know that I want to use ribbon after all, Uh, I don't know where I would put it actually. I was thinking of putting it underneath here, but now I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. I was just thinking I might have some ribbon maybe peeking out of here. Like this. but I don't know if it's necessary to have it or not. I kind of like it peeking up behind there. So I think I will cut a piece. I can trim it if it's a bit too long when we get this done. What I typically do when I want to put ribbon on the back is I use my glue runner. And I just put some glue runner on the back the greeting and 
and that holds the ribbon in place. And the nice thing about it is you can move it if you don't like it. Oops, and you see, I don't like that. I did it the wrong way. Just going to be one of those days today, isn't it? I think so. Oh, boy. Now, just like that, stick that on there. All right, I don't mind the look of that. I think I would like this, oopsie, pulled that with my finger. This one bad thing about this, it's sort of, it's uh, kind of frays a little bit too easy if you pull on it. So you've got to be careful with it. All right, I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. That also helps hold the ribbon down. Like that. I'll just pull the dimensionals off, the backings off. And I'll just leave it sitting up like that so we're ready to use it. Okay, so our flowers now, we want to get these put on. And I, I do like the greeting at the top, so I think I will decorate them, put the flowers down below. Um, I might raise that one up. I'm going to just put this one flat down. So I'm just going to put glue in the very center of the flower so that I can tuck leaves underneath. So I'm just going to put it down like that. And I will put this one up on a dimensional, maybe two. And that'll allow it to be um, uh, standing up a little bit, give it a little dimension. And then I'll still be able to tuck um, leaves underneath it where I want to put those leaves. Now, I didn't pull any embellishments yet. I don't know that I have anything that I want to put on to this one. No. I kind of like this little leaf right in here. I thought that looked nice, sort of on top of that. I think you can put your leaves any way you like, but there is a pointier end. I don't want them to look too uniform. Oops, a pointier end and then looks pretty good. I don't want it to look too too much the same. I'm wondering even if I want two like that. That maybe looks nice. I do have more leaves cut out in case I thought I wanted to use them, but I think that looks pretty good. All right. Uh, let's see what our greeting looks like up here. And I Now I don't know what to do with my greeting. And of course my ribbon can't hang off the end of the car too much because you've got to put it in an envelope. So you've got to be careful. Just till you're ready to lay it down, you want to not press down on your... I think that's okay. All right, I'm gonna do it like that. There we go, and I will get these leaves put in. And for the leaves, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of them, and they'll stick right down to the card. Just like that. You can also attach the leaves to the back of the flowers if you like. I just like to do it this way because then I can kind of play around with it a little bit. Once I've got my flowers down and I know where my flowers are going to go, then I can stick my leaves in. All right. So there's that. Like I said, I didn't bring any embellishments over. Let's see what I've got that might work for us. Um, there are some, the festive pearls have 
what they called soft succulent in them, or a green, and I thought they were kind of pretty on here. So that might be my choice, because I don't think I have anything else yet in new uh, embellishments that I want to put on this. So I think that's my best bet. Now I'm almost thinking that I might, I see some of them are gone a little astray here, so I'll pick these ones up. I think I might put them right in the middle of my flowers. I kind of like that look. So I'm using my take your pick tool to pick them off the There, that looks good. And then I usually do un uneven numbers, odd numbers. And I think I might, whoopsie, that one went astray. Put one right here. Like that. All right. So those were the festive pearls that I used. And in the soft succulent or light green or whatever you want to call that color, but it kind of blends with our, our, uh, Lost Lagoon. All right, so let's see how that looks. Even without my scallop, I'm a little disappointed. I forgot to put that in, but that's okay. It still works. The inside looks like that. So that's our finished card. I do have another card to show you. Bear, this is such an easy layout. You can use any DSP on here. Two that you like and something that you like the inside of. That's the important part because you see both sides of your DSP. You know, Stampin' Up! makes such beautiful DSP, and quite often I say, oh, I hate to put glue on that side because it's just so beautiful. Well, this this shows that off. I was going to um, stamp my envelope with one of the flowers. I thought that would look good. So I have the smaller flower out of the stamp set here. I am using Lost Lagoon. This is a very juicy ink pad. I'm going to just stamp it onto here to look at it and see if I want it that dark or do I want it stamped off. I think the dark one is good. All right, I'm just going to put it in the corner here like that. So there's our envelope for this card. And I think it turned out really pretty. I will show you another one that I made using different paper, and this paper came from, uh, I'll just look for it now, this is the Fancy Flora paper, which I have loved using, and I still have lots and lots of it left. I use this one, and I use the Circle Sayings stamp set for this one. So same layout, the DSP and another piece of DSP along the edge there. And there's the DSP on the inside. I did use uh, Knight of Navy back, um, card back. And you can see I added a, the piece of DSP there. I did put some retired twine on it because I did have some navy twine. And this is part of the circle sayings that we used last week. And I used the words sending you a ah, and thank you. And I stamped them and then I cut them out, just fussy cut them out, and then laid them on a, another circle. And this circle, I don't know if you can see it or not, I did stamp with the petal pink onto petal pink cardstock, but stamped off once, and I used these flowers just very faintly here. So I think that one turned out nice too, and the inside looks just like that. So there's... Uh, the other card that I did with retired paper. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on my video and please subscribe to my channel. And that means you won't miss any of the videos that I post every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today. Hope everybody has a great day and a wonderful week. See you next time. Bye.